inspiring story. Let's move on from advocacy to technology, where David Okpateibo is doing something amazing with his passion for aircraft. He started building static models of airplanes with paper as a kid driven by passion and his quest to know why birds fly. After much research, he moved on to creating drones, including the one he developed for the Lagos State Government as a student at the International College of Aeronautics. Have a look. David Okwatoimbo is a young Nigerian drone engineer and enthusiast. His journey started with paper planes, cartons, foams and cans to build static models. As a kid, I was fascinated with the flight of birds and that led me to start researching about, okay, what makes birds fly? So due to my research, I got to know about airplanes and also got to know about what we call drones or mandaria vehicles. So I, I was interested in that. I started doing my study about them. David, who is also an aviation student at the International College of Aeronautics, says his parents were not receptive at first, but they turned around. Well, at first it was strange. It was early and along the line, they got used to me building stuff together and they were very, very supportive. It wasn't exactly a smooth sail for David. What were the hiccups he encountered? Well, one of the very first challenges is finance. Uh, many of these drone components are expensive. And because they are not sourced locally, the conversion rate of the currency and many other stuff posed a very, very big challenge in getting all those parts. While controlling a drone is relatively safe, it does have little hazards. One of the things is those blades spin at a very, very fast RPM, revolution per minute and getting in contact with those rotating parts can cause a lot of damage. Aside from that, the batteries used by these drones are actually very, very volatile. They must not get scratched or burned or punctured. If not, you can have explosions. The drone engineer hopes that more can be done to make the journey easy for innovators and also boost the space. I'm appealing to the government to recognize the innovators, the indigenous innovators, individuals and organizations and provide waivers for them so that they will have access to get all these components needed for their research and product development for, of drone technology.